Hello and welcome to this life skill curriculum from Sky Education. I am your mindset coach, Dawood Waid. I'm a part of the designing team, the illustration, the work that has gone behind to make this entire series of what we call the candle life skill. Well, the idea is in this audio lesson plans, I'll share how do you use a specific book for your students. And the way we have curated the entire book, it is based on the colors of the rainbow, with V, violet stands for the earliest group. And as you progress, today I'm going to discuss about the orange curriculum, which you know is corresponding to a higher level, a higher grade students. However, having said that, the life skill itself is a very flexible curriculum. Now I can take up a violet book and teach a grown up group of doctors, perhaps because everybody needs the life skills at each particular time which is why we say our curriculum is very dynamic. And for that, we have started doing something that we have not done before, is not to create templates of lesson plan, but rather have a conversation of what an audio lesson plan is all about. Today, I'll share the candle orange book with you. And as I do that, you will get to know how is the book program? What is the entire concept that goes into the curriculum? And how do you teach it? You can use this entire series of this recording at your convenience, you can actually watch it in one go and perhaps be very clear, okay, this is what I need to do. Or you can also take your time and do chapter by chapter, however, whichever curriculum you need to speak about. So let me get started with the first introduction of what this is. Now, you see every single life skill book, the candle book, will be divided into 13 different categories. Category one is life skill, category three is environment, category, you know, I, as we go ahead, or is public speaking, the 12th one is career growth, the last one will always be community service. So if you go around, you will get familiar with what I call the themes. Each themes are alphabetically numbered A to M and under each theme, like A will have three different activities. So sometimes teachers are a little unsure, what do we do? Essentially you break it down and you know, approximately if I say you can use 10 months is how a school calendar is or 54 weeks or 52 weeks that you have got what you do is essentially you just break it down into doing three per week so three activities or rather in three weeks you finish a one theme so a finishes in three b finishes in three similarly 13 into three essentially we that's the kind of working week we got in 39 weeks you will be completing it and the 48 week could be a cumulative assessment or a revision or a completely cast like project as in community service project that you do on the life skill program so now this is how the broke breakdown of the entire program is a i take up a theme and i mentally know that i have three weeks essentially you get once an hour or two periods a week so i'll use them and have a lot of conversations around so let's jump into my A theme, the life skill. And in life skill, we've got a theme called who am I? Now, of course, when I say life skill, who am I? There are two different tags that will be attached to it. The first one is the life skill tag. And who am I is essentially, if you look at the bottom here, the life skill tag is self-awareness. So in the candle orange, we are starting with a self-awareness program. The students are starting to talk about themselves, who they are, what they think, what is, it could be philosophical, it could be spiritual, it could be uh, futuristic, it could be global citizen perspective, but that's the conversation a teacher will have to have. What is the quality of a teacher required? Well, a teacher has to be good in communication. A teacher has to also know a lot of world around them. And a teacher needs to be able to relate. You know, you are more of a mentor and a coach than a teacher when you take this curriculum. The second tag that is applied to these curriculum is what I call the more importantly SDG goals. You learn life skills, but what are you implementing it for? In our program, we have taken the United Nations 17 life skill goals, and these goals are what we are achieving through these life skills. So in this, the SDG goal that we're applying is goal number four, quality education, and goal number 16, peace and other in, uh, institutions around it. So, you know, as you go ahead, you'll get familiar with even United Nations life skill program and United Nations entire program of the framework called SDG, Sustainable Development Goal. Both of these have an individual session. If you can go and click them, you can watch another half an hour of what these programs are about. Right. So let's say I'm the teacher, my student in, in your grade six, seven, eight are taking up orange as the life skill curriculum. What do I do and how do I teach? So now from A1 to prop probably A6, A7, A8, depending on how we have content into it, you will see the entire program. 
your your role is to start a conversation who am i a good teacher might just take up a book a, a smarter teacher might make a powerpoint out of it a teacher can find out some videos to share it is up to you you essentially are looking at the category a for the next 3 weeks now so you divide yourself into every week and every week you have an activity that i'll be sharing at the end of it all the three activities are cluttered together you know speak to them ask them who the identity is you know if you look at the picture everything has been thought about it it's a research for the last 3 years the fingerprint does fingerprint give you identity why why not bring a small thumb pad get everybody do the fingerprint and just look at the fingerprints about it what are you made of that's a biological answer what are you thinking that's a spiritual or a philosophical answer this is what who am i is about well who am i can be figured into five ways and that is what we have written down according to sharmat hasham a phd in the science of choice your identity relates to your basic value that dictates a choice so what choices are you making you know a choice that i want to wear jeans or i want to wear trouser or i want to wear my shorts a choice like you know i want to become something a doctor a blogger a sports star this are all this could be career choices this could be uh, personality choices and that is what your identity is about as a teacher you can make venn diagrams you can make charts and you can ask them with different categories who they are so what are the five key steps to knowing who you are number one reflect who is the king of pop as written it's michael jackson mj most of you may not even relate to it the younger generation but he said something very beautiful in one of his lyrics he says i am starting with the man in the mirror you know a teacher can do so many things just to make them these life skills are not information based these are more of reflection and conversation based ask them to open up the mirror and look at themselves i'm sure they see themselves teenagers every day but what do they really see who they are or oh, what do they not like about themselves would be a good conversational starter then decide who you want to be well this was could be a career a professional choice as i said who they want to be and ask them to write and this is what you do okay what do you want to be but then you say okay what do you want to be as a human being do you want to be a philanthropist one who gives away money or a capitalist who earns a lot of money ask them the difference and you must make a note of what i'm sharing because that's from the author's perspective as as researchers as people who created a program what we want to do then make better choices one of my first activity in violet was making choices and we are now asking them to make up their own choices well a choice could be as simple as the food diet choices imagine a sports star and you know virat kohli a great sports star before he became vegan he was only eating salmon right pink salmon for that matter now he is choosing to eat black beans but he told a younger player that if you can make better food choices for the next 10 years you will be an excellent sports person well ask them the same thing Finally number 4 is explore your passions you know something we don't ask our students to do ask them to write 10 things they want to do things they are excited about when i wanted to enter into education i wrote down five things i love doing about it i said books children animals yes animals avengers okay i, I love this whole science fiction part of avengers and quizzing and i said okay how do i combine all of this and make a program out of it last 20 years i'm living a life on my own terms of doing quizzing of doing sdg activism i did an avengers mindset my curriculum has come in and i work with children ask them what their passion are there is an author i know who loves animals and history and she's written a book about all the animals from history from alexander's horse bucapilus to chetak you know and, and ramahana rana pratap's horse it is amazing what your passion can take you to and finally develop your social circle not just on facebook and instagram but who your friends are who do you discuss things and these are your conversations that who am i will take you about all right so i come to now three activities about it okay the first activity if you look at it the new heading comes in memories about you so let's say you did your first week and you said okay what do i do my and the best part of the curriculum is activities the more activities you include the better the students response is and this is a very beautiful activity we included something that i personally had enjoyed when i read this person this story is something i read as a child in those book that used to come called the chanda mama or tinkle you know remember this tinkle and chanda mama a publication we had yes so it's a story of a boy in 6th grade who was afraid of speaking in public and when you tell a story like that a lot of students may identify oh i am also like that and you know he did a smart thing 
he said i always knew that there's a particular time when the flight arrives and flight you know departs and the noise is deafening because and this is a real story i went to chennai there is a school at minam bakam near the airport that's the chennai airport right and there you can see the flights as if the sound is deafening so he said as i walked to give the you know at the podium to give the assembly at the speech there was a flight that was just landing and the noise and i you know you you can see me of course he must have done a better mimicry than i did and as if he speaking but nobody could hear a word and the moment that the flight and the sound was off he said thank you and got on the stage interesting episode ask them have they done something like that anything ask them to an embarrassing or a funny or a smart incident at the school at the mall a friend's house while eating food on a vacation push them and they will give and as a teacher you must also have some of your conversations you know something as a child what you did something that you embarrass about something that is very funny about you the more you open up the children will open up to you there is a very intelligent conversation around the word i message even for a parent in you or a teacher in you when you want to say something to a child use the word i message don't say that you put me down he said i felt hurt because you did not do something and that is what you do ask every student in your class to make a card with an i message and something that they're not very happy with how do they put it in a personalized i message conversation and these are some examples you can use so you know someone who borrows thing and doesn't return is saying you are a cheat or a liar say i feel and there should be word around upset i feel let down when you and he, and they write you don't return the things you promise me because because either they are important to me or because i trust you to give it back to me and remember when these conversation become very personal this is my second activity these are conversational activities i have given you three case scenarios you can build up on your own and each of them can go on and be a lot of conversations around it finally the third activity on my a theme is an activity called who am i it's basically a riddle so you know we had lot of difficult deep level conversation i thought we'll make an easy one for the ease of you and the students the answers are here but the questions are on the on the next page and trust me you have to be very vigilant the answer there but i'm not given it that's not who i want to do i will disappear every time you say my name say silence right good i am white perfect for cutting and grinding of course that's too easy right the teeth i am light as a feather yet the strongest man can't hold me for more than 5 minutes unless you are doing vipassana and and into and meditation but it is your breath well please don't come back and say that sir what is the answer for this i am i can i can assure you and your students and crack this quiz crack this riddle without google or without me have fun with your first theme who am i and that is how the entire conversation is going to go forward don't worry i'm not ending but if you are a teacher who has to just watch this one and do your three weeks this is the lesson plan i'm giving you the world has changed and in sky education we believe in that and that is why i have created audio lesson plans i'm always reachable email me whatsapp me most of you have been attending my teachers training sessions but this is how the entire program is going to pan around let me take a few more and then probably we'll make small modules and for you to be ease you know which ones fall in where i have got 13 so i'm going to make this into the first four part of it my second theme is called the news maker theme now you are very clear the skill is critical thinking well they are critical thinkers people who became very amazing and i have taken the theme around the people president the most loved the most popular president of india dr apj abdul kalam right so what are the sdg goals i want to achieve well it is goal number 8 called decent growth right and decent work and economic growth and goal number 9 industry innovation and infrastructure well these are two things that he helped build up he showed what it is to be an engineer and then a leader and he has been an amazing teacher all across well he also is something i love as an author some of his books especially his biography the wings of fire is 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 outstanding so you can read everything about dr kalam and again this is just a short biography if as a teacher you are very invested i know one of my friend prashant ayer who is the biggest fan of dr kalam i have seen i respect prashant his company is called ignited minds and you can talk about it you know these are trivia as you speak about it you can talk about the dr kalam's quiz and i've done an entire quiz on dr kalam and prepare something interesting around it who was he he was he started as you know as, as an engineer from mit well, mit is very something very close i studied engineering from 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 chennai as well 
Then he developed into DRDO as a scientist. He joined ISRO. He was appointed the chief scientific advisor to the prime minister. And Dr. Kalam has an outstanding process. A Bharat Ratna, someone who actually died at, at, the, at the podium giving an, a, you know, a lecture to the students. I think he lived his life in the words he spoke about. The 11th president was an amazing author. I mean, books that have influenced him, I've written that down. You know, being from, from South Tamil Nadu, Tirukal is, is a collection of lovely poems and thoughts and a very philosophical book. That is what he said. He's written books, which is amazing, but he said he was a good reader also. Imagine the book called Empires of the Mind. As a teacher, you pick up your conversations around books the students love. And you know, sometimes when somebody is asking you, what books do you love? And you're blank. I always tell that it's difficult. These are difficult questions to have. And as an interviewer, I always ask and I'm asked about the question. Sometimes it's easier to make a note of it. You know, what are the books you gift most? And maybe make a note of it. So tomorrow somebody asks you, you know, you can put it on a Google Keep or a WhatsApp or email you. The students know, okay, there are a few books I like. It could be Geronimo Stilton, I don't mind, or, or deep book like, you know, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, any book, but you allow a child different genre, different perspectives, but these are my conversational starters. All right, so this is what we've done from his own book. Make a list of the favorite five books, the categories I mentioned, go to Amazon. You do This is something I really enjoy doing, that review and read about Dr. Kalam's book and what people say about it. There is an activity that I really want to do as a child, as a student, and I think as a teacher's encouragement you should do is redraw the cover of Dr. APJ's Kalam book, The Wings of Fire. First, show them the, the current book has just him with his beautiful locks out there, but how about Wings of Fire with a more imagination? You know, believe me, you have artists in your classes you do not know unless you give them the right topics. The next one that I want you to do with your children is talk about India as a world power in the defense sector, right? So what are the launches we had? What are the kind of missiles we have from SLV to Agni to, you know, some GSLV? So there is a name out there. Do your research. Mention the name of the missile launched by India. But it could be you could be taking this book, say, in Dubai and you've got your own defense system or in Sri Lanka or somewhere else in the world. United States, very popular. Perhaps you can use this as a part of it. And as I say, these are heroes not limited to India alone. These are global heroes. Dr. Kalam is a president who should be, you know, taught in every university in the world the way we learn about Dr. Abraham Lincoln. And that's the whole idea about it. And as I just mentioned, there is Dr. Abraham Lincoln. So we have a, a, a first activity around the president. If you were the president of India, what would your thoughts be? Who is the current president of India? Right? These are questions you ask. India has a women president that even America doesn't have. You know, uh, Srimati Pratibha Patil. And that are things that we make make ourselves you know we are proud of it we have a president from the community that has always been must marginalized so ramnath kovindji these are uh, you know this is the kind of conversation i want to have what are your memories of it make a comparison between america's most loved president abraham lincoln and india's people president dr apj abdul kalam so you know we are talking about a lot of conversation out here so I gave you three activities in this particular one and I hope you can follow up. Again, remember, divide into three weeks and do the entire conversation along with the activities. Quickly jumping on to my theme number three, which is on environment. The skill tag is problem solving. We want problem solvers. We don't want problem creators. The environment of the world is, is, is really needing the millennials to step up. Now, what I've done also in the environment, I've taken up some scientists and some conversation around the scientists. So if you look at that, uh, we have to just add on to it. Just one more activity that I think it just the tag have to, to become a little better on is we have to improve on what the environment says. So this should be Arctic versus Antarctic, not Einstein with Hawking. I'm sorry about this particular one, but what are the SDG tags you're talking about? SDG tag global climate change is big one. So that is as 13 and life, below water because we're going to talk about the ice entire continents on ice arctic and antarctic so ignore that uh, the heading out there about the two scientists name but how are antarctic and arctic alike i mean this is a geography's a question that it's a nightmare for others but the geographists in you should come in these are poles apart literally 
literally they are poles apart and also they are poles apart in the way the animals and the creatures are so we speak about antarctica and arctic right arctic you know as, as an ocean is, is 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 on here antarctic is below and arctic is near the north poles the water antarctic is the opposite of it and surrounded by ocean and there these are people also they are different people for example in north america and the sami of northern europe are the people who live in the north poles right the south pole today has almost been untouched by human presence almost 200 years back today it's 2021 exactly as i'm speaking to you 1821 was the first time a human set foot on it the word arctic has as as the word bear arctos and yes it is the sacred land of the polar bears arctic arctic is a sacred land of polar bear antarctica on that matter has sea lions whales elephant seals you know the entire creature is different so this is it in fact if you can go uh, google uh, video search and show them a polar bear that was eating from the dustbins it was perhaps in denmark or greenland but it was a sad sight a magnificent animal like a polar bear eating from the dustbins malnutrition animal that's a conversation i want to have you know your entire week should be dedicated to polar bear do a research on it i have put some quiz out there the answers will always be there but you can google the answers the key thing is about you making them aware of the animal not just how cute a polar bear is but more about it as they become conservations right a quick question number 7 here is what color a polar bear hai while well, trust me they are transparent colors you know polar bear is a black animal with the skin and and it's a reflection that makes it white you know you can you know if you don't trust me you can find out about it but that's what we are imagine a life of a polar bear yes the life of a polar bear i've given you a screenshot the cubs are born how they eat the way they fight yes they're big animals one of the many bears in the world talk about polar bear and the grizzly bear and the slot bear and perhaps the koala uh, so you talk about a lot of different or the panda perhaps so we are taking an entire theme around polar bear c6 is something very interesting it's a satellite picture of the arctic and can you see the ice melting so you know there there are two different satellite pictures guess which is arctic and antarctic right and if you read the description it's very easy for you to understand the one which is completely surrounded is is the antarctic but do you see the ice melting when the ice melts that is what we call you know they are expected you know the sea level rising and then the tsunamis and the floods happen finally we talk about the poles you can make a comparative chart if you're doing a physical school make them do those charts you can do it online you can do it on padlets but ask them what kind of people live there what kind of animals live there so you know the, you look at this beautiful thing the arctic which is on the north pole now has a polar bear but doesn't have a penguin the antarctic has a has has no polar bear the penguin but different you know where do the eskimos live who the inuits are which is the same thing and the the culture the habit the regions they belong to it would be something that your students will love and you will really make environmentalist out of the whole program in today's session the last one i'm talking about is the fourth one the d category which is what we call the wonder of the world and the skill tag is interpersonal relationship because my theme is global citizen you know when i want somebody to make a global citizen well the idea is how do you understand the world global citizen it is beautiful it is it is absolutely amazing and we want to talk about you know people around so goal number 16 and 17 16 i spoke about the goals will be repeated often and 17 is partnership for goals so a global citizen as an individual is aware of what's happening around this is a campaign about global citizenship how do you get a global citizenship you know so you understand the world around the learning the people take argument you know you can even take up a topic right now right now what are the three most important topics being spoken about in the world then and, and that could be your starting point you know or, or maybe in the last one year what are the key things that global citizenship had well number one was definitely the campaigns with small small regimes that they fought against people's voice where well, it could be egypt it could be in thailand right now what's happening in burma you can speak about that number 2 it could be about the global climate change like the australian bush fire the amazon bush fire that's a global citizenship well definitely elections the american president election everybody in the world knows about it so when donald trump was defeated joe biden what happened or you can talk about black right movement anything that you want to know about global citizen or it could be a simple thing in your own society what is happening the covid oh we forgot about the entire thing about the corona you know the covid 19 and what is it about So how do you become a global citizen the conversations can go around getting inspired bring a map bring a globe talk about it talk about books talk about events around it what's happening in the world 
get educated volunteer on the international day at your school so whatever you know if you don't have create one what's an international day it may be today as i'm speaking would be some countries independence day or a national day fine or this is fun activity you know like we only think of 15th august or july the 4th that but what about what about any country right now which country has a national day being celebrated today it's fun it's an activity you are you are surprised with the result because you don't know maybe if not today maybe a week later within the next week you will definitely find we say get hungry well one of the best ways to do with global cuisine you know the sushi is from or sushi is that from japan yes or the baklava from lebanon or, or you know anything you know, the, the egg curry from sri lanka a lot of indian cuisines you can talk about the arab cuisines the african the the tacos from mexico the nachos you can talk so much about the cuisines of the world what are my activities around global cuisine all right or global culture well number one is what's in a name so if if your name could identify where you're from and we're not stereotyping it but e around a particular name abraham is a very important biblical name as as a as a leader of the prophets a very important one i created different versions of the word abraham abraham graham ibrahim bram and if you were to think about it who could they be why don't you do the same thing with different names around Okay, so ask your children to throw at least ten names and find out which country or co uh, co community they could be. If I say the word Chang, I think you most likely you'll go to Southeast Asia. If I say anything with uh, you know like a Muhammad, you will go to you know, the Gulf area. If I say something like Shiva or or, or Radha, and suddenly you will look, oh, that's an Indian-looking name. But maybe a Shiva and Radha are sitting in Australia. The Australian migrants, or or a Muhammad is sitting somewhere in Mexico. And there is the world culture. That is what a global citizenship is all about. My activity number two is something which is really there called Young Achievers Award. It's an award given to people who are young and they are doing some amazing breakthrough in different fields. so you can take up a field like science a movie making field or environmental cause and choose any of the 17 goals and say okay if i were to give an award or even better let's say you have a group of 20 kids and you say if i were to give an award of say someone who's doing zero hunger maybe you can give to someone who is actually eating a lot maybe he can be the bright person to solve the world's hunger problem it could be simple fun but the idea again is conversation another very important sub activity in this is create the award you know like how a film fair or oscar or a, or a trophy of a sports will look like how would the young achievers award look like create an award like that maybe if you want to push them further and if it together ask them to recycle use a bottle a small bottle you know the plastic bottles you throw away which is actually an environmental hazard why don't we create an award through that any kind of creativity is welcome as long as you're pushing them for creativity finally the last activity on that is searching for advice around the globe and it a chinese proverb is if you want to succeed ask three old people for advice you know write the word teacher doctor psychologist social worker librarian so and so on the board have student brainstorm what advice you'll take from them i mean what advice will you take from dentist everyone say brush your teeth maybe it's about flossing maybe something they never done or brush twice a twice a day we have not learned that and one conversation can change that you can also give ranks i mean of course you know don't be biased but hopefully teacher should win all the time but what can you learn from a social worker a, a librarian a sibling and the student should also add a personal advisor's name you know i would be proud if they say oh i have spoken to daud sir and he is my mindset coach as teachers who are your coaches trust me in today's world of role models we need a lot of coaches we need a lot of people around the world and that is my conversation on the first of the candle orange curriculum for you hopefully i'll come back in three more sessions we'll complete all the 13 activities you can always email me at daud@skyeducation.in and for your questions suggestions hopefully you will enjoy teaching it as much as i enjoyed my team enjoyed preparing it good luck and goodbye